All right, let's talk about reflecting over this y-axis. So I'm going to give you the point 5, comma, 3. Remember, 5 is that x-coordinate, 3 is that y. So I'll find 5, and then 3, and I'll plot. And if I'm going to reflect across the y-axis, what I can show you is that I will do the same thing. I will make this bleed through. And then, let's see where it ends up. Okay, so perfect. Looking at how, now what has changed is our x-axis, x-coordinate. We went from 5 to negative 5. Those are opposites. So when I reflect 5, 3 across, I get negative 5, 3. Alright, so in this case, reflections over the y-axis, y-coordinate stays the same. Okay? This is true for negative values, too. If I have... Let's say I go to negative 3, negative 4. When I reflect this over the y-axis, notice this is 1, 2, 3 units away from the y-axis, so it's going to be 1, 2, 3 units. Negative 3 and 3, those are opposites. My y-coordinate is not changing. So I went from negative 3, negative 4 to 3, negative 4, all right, where that y-coordinate is staying the same.